And so, so um, uh, w one last question, and it's, it has to do with, I guess, uh, something that, that um, a lot of people are very concerned about, which is your car becomes a software platform, mm -hmm. and software platforms get hacked. How do you think about that? How do you think about security, and what are some of the things that we could do to try to make, make, uh, make the car more resilient to, to uh, security attacks? Yeah, I think that that becomes really important when the cars um, are fully autonomous. I mean, the, the way the cars work right now, um, every system in the car, it's assumed, could actually have a mechanical failure of some kind or, or a logic failure, a fundamental logic failure. So you can always overwhelm the, the, the braking of the car with your foot, and you can overwhelm the steering wheel with your hands. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but, but when, when there isn't a steering wheel or there isn't, you know, a brake pedal or something that, like, you know, many years from now, then it's really, really dangerous, you know, because, uh, but, but even as it is right now, what we spend most of our time on is making sure that it's, it's very difficult to do um, a multi-car hack. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have direct access to a car, just like if you've got direct access to a computer or, or any, even a conventional car, you can do a lot of things to it. Mm -hmm. um, but but that, that's less of a concern than somebody being able to hack an arbitrary car or multiple cars. So that's what we, we focus our energy on, is making sure that that, in, in that way, it's, it's, it's a lot like a, like a cell phone or, or a laptop. Uh, you know, you, you, you focus on making sure that they can't, they can't, or that it's very difficult for there to be any kind of system-wide hack. Mm -hmm. um, so we put a lot of effort into that, and we have third parties try to attack it. And, mm -hmm. um, and, and then certain parts of the, the car at, at the very fundamental level, like the drive unit controller uh, or the steering controller, have a, an additional level of security. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so somebody may be able to uh, you know, ha hack something that's uh, cosmetic, but it's much harder to hack something that's, that's actually physically dangerous. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, there's, there's multiple levels mm -hmm, of security. Yeah, and so this way, if you, if you were to able to penetrate maybe the infotainment system, it doesn't allow you quickly exactly. as a result of that. Right. right. I mean, it may display a funny message or something, but it would not, you would not be able to then control the steering or the, the motor. Yeah. Well, the future of cars is so exciting, and the work that you guys are doing are so exciting, and it's, it's, it's great to see you guys pioneering um, these computerized cars. I mean, a lot of people think about, think about Tesla as the electric car, and I, but I think it's obviously more than that. It's an electric car, but yeah. it's, it's a whole computer platform on top of that. Yeah, I think, I think Tesla's, I mean, Tesla's sort of the leader in electric cars, but I think we'll also sort of be the leader in autonomous uh, cars, mm -hmm. at least autonomous cars that people can buy. Mm -hmm. um, and and we're, we're, so we're, we're, I mean, if there's anybody who's interested in working on autonomous cars, we'd love to have you work at Tesla, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so we're, we're going to put a lot of effort into uh, automotive, uh, autonomous driving, because uh -huh. uh, it's just going to be the, the default thing. Yeah. Um, and it could save a lot of lives. Yeah, to uh, save a lot of lives, and hopefully, hopefully one of these days, I could, it would be nice if Nvidia's campus has no parking lot. Yeah, right. That it drops us off and it meanders off to a place where the, the land's a little cheaper, and you know, and parks a whole bunch of cars there. And, and when it's time to go home, we yeah, you know, summon it to come. 